You have probably heard the phrase, circumstances don't matter, but what the H does that mean? It sounds like such an abstract thought and idea. We're gonna dive deep on that very concept in this episode of Roxy Talks, stay tuned. What is up my fellow dreamers and soul searchers? Thank you for joining me here for another episode of Roxy Talks, where we discuss confidence, mindset, manifestation, and more. I'm Roxy Lee. I'm a mindset coach, and I'm here to help you banish your negative thinking and limiting doubts so you can bring love, clarity, and joy into your life. If you'd like to sign up for one-on-one coaching so we can discuss your specific issues, you can sign up for one-on-one coaching at roxytalks.com. And of course, that link is in the description below. Now, what exactly does circumstances don't matter mean? Okay, this is the idea that absolutely nothing is permanent. Nothing. Social norms, political situations, religious ideals, family traditions, expectations, current reality, all of it. The idea that literally nothing is permanent in your world unless you allow it to be, okay? Now, before we get into it, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you're feeling generous, please like and share. That helps us reach as many people as possible and everyone deserves to know that they are in complete control of their reality. So one of the big things that gets in the way of us manifesting is that we think whatever it is that's already here is here and this is how it is and this is how it has to be because this is how it's always been. I've always been this way, so I will always be this way. They've always been like that. They've always said these things. We've always had these beliefs. This person said this thing last week. It can't change. Well, guess what? That's not true. We have the ability to change or remold or reselect any situation that we want here on this planet. Part of the deal here, being on earth, being a human being, is that you get to decide what happens to you simply by what you think about. That's a pretty good deal if you ask me. You're telling me that I can have anything that I want that I see in my world or I can conceive of in my mind and all I have to do is play it out in my head? Huh. I do that all day, every day. Anyways, so great. I'll take two. We need to be recognizing our power as something a little bit more concrete, even though it's kind of the opposite. Uh, (laughs) It gets weird here because we're dealing with energy. We're dealing with this weird holographic realm that we're living in. No one's really quite sure what it is, but they can measure what it does. And when they do that, They see that it is our perception or our conception, our realization, our awareness that perpetuates our life by feeding this machine that replicates over and over and over. And this brain here drives the ship. This thing tells it where to go. This thing tells it what to materialize and what to populate into our world. So what we're doing all day, every single day is telling our subconscious and communicating to the universe or whatever is out there. This is what the world looks like. This is how people behave. This is how we feel about ourselves. This is what we look like. This is how she feels. This is what she does. This is what this is like. This is how the world works. This is how it's been. This is how it always be. We decide that. Each single one of us has the opportunity to write every single letter of our own story. Every single one of us is weaving the fabric of our reality in our minds in every single moment, okay? This is not woo-woo. This is not spirituality. This is not spooky action at a distance, as Einstein called it. This is what energy is doing in this realm that we call planet earth. Okay. So fine. If that's what's going on, then I'm going to play the earth game. I'm going to stop thinking in finite ways and I'm going to start experimenting and seeing just how powerful I actually am. Cause what do I have to lose? Absolutely nothing. Okay. So let's do it. Let's suspend logic disbelief and self-criticism and doubt, okay? These are the things that keep us away from what we want. These are the things that tell us it's not possible. These are the things that tell us what is possible. These are the things that keep us confined in a pen, okay? These are the things that prevent us from transcending and doing whatever it is that we wanna do. So I'm gonna start practicing every day telling myself the new stuff that I wanna think. I'm not gonna allow anything in this physical world to be permanent because that is a choice by me. And the way it becomes a choice is by me deciding that it's not movable, that it's not malleable, that it's not changeable, that I can't simply select a new version just by thinking about it, just by entertaining it. So when you think something is permanent, maybe it is. 
Maybe it's permanent in the way that this reality is the way it is. That person is the way they are. And maybe they're not going to change. But guess what? You don't have to keep coming in contact with that one. You don't have to keep selecting that one. So maybe they are finite. Maybe they are immovable. But you are not. And your reality is not. Okay? So let's choose a different one. The way we choose a different one, the way we get to experience a different one is simply by playing it out in our mind. Letting that be our new narrative. Letting that be the movie that plays upstairs until it's showing up downstairs, okay? This is all you have to do. It's very simple. So when you're commenting on videos, when you're commenting on the live stream, when you're asking, well, my person said this, can I still manifest them? This person did this, can I still do this? What about this? What about this? What about this? What about this? That's what it sounds like. And I'm like, yes, all of it, of course, because none of it matters. You have decided that that's permanent. You have decided that nothing can happen besides this. That's on you. That's not me. I'm not manifesting for you. I'm manifesting for me and it's working out, okay? And the reason is, is because I am not allowing myself to think that I can't do it. I can do it. I am doing it. The fact that I'm alive proves it to me in every single moment. So let's not squander our powers, okay? Stop criticizing. Stop judging. Stop logicking yourself out of it, okay? This is not a logical place. They're trying to use Newtonian physics to describe something that isn't Newtonian physics, okay? So cut that out, look into quantum physics, study how energy behaves on this planet, and draw correlations. It's very clear when you look into it that there's a component you can understand in order to work it and to make the machine work for you. Does this cover the whole thing? Does this include the creation and who did it and what the big consciousness is? No. And does it matter? No, it really doesn't. All that matters is that you can suspend that logic and disbelief for long enough to let the thing show up in your world, okay? If you can do that, then you can have whatever it is that you want. You don't need to know who's out there pulling the strings. You don't need to know how, when, or why it's coming about. Your job is to set your intention, send out your manifestation, launch your rockets, put out the vibration, whatever you want to call it, and then show up and get it. If it's anything in between, none of your damn business, okay? <laughs> set your intention, show up and get it. Do those two things and you can have whatever you want. There's freedom in that. I don't need to figure out how it's going to come about. I don't need to tell you this and you that and do this and pull this string. No, the universe pulls all the strings for me. I simply tell it what to do. I doink my magic wand at it and then I let it happen. I'll link yesterday's video above about obsessive thoughts and how to shut that down, offer no resistance. So make sure to check out that video from yesterday as well. So I want you to be really mindful. When something happens in your world that you don't like, that doesn't align with where you're going, that doesn't give you warm fuzzies, I want you to take a moment to realize, okay, this isn't real. I don't need to let this affect me. I don't need to let this impress upon me. It's my choice to get upset by this. And I choose not to. I choose to take this opportunity to reaffirm that what I do want is actually coming. Because if I'm still waiting on it, that means it's still on the way. So if it's on the way, it's on the way. Great. Great. It's on the way. Perfect. I can deal. I have patience. I'm an adult. I've been here a while. I can order my pizza and then sit and wait while it's cooking in the oven, okay? Because we want pizza and not dough and raw vegan cheese, right? <laughs> So let it be your new teaching, your new understanding, your new belief system that circumstances never have to matter. I can simply select whatever I want by focusing on it. The less I entertain whatever happens in my 3D physical world, the faster and easier the universe can bring that thing to me. The quicker I'm going to come into alignment with whatever it is I'm manifesting because I'm not offering any opposing thoughts or views. I know it's coming. I know that no matter what happens in my 3D world, I can continue to lock in on what I want until it shows up. Again, if you can do that, you can have whatever you want. Can you play the match game? Great, then you can have it all, okay? It doesn't take more than this. You just need to understand it's not about worth, it's not about value, it's not about permanence, it's not about history, culture, my family thinks this, my religion says this. No, 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 no. You rewrite that story. People respect you. They love what you're doing. They think you're amazing. They hang off your every word. They're inspired by you. They love the fact that you are a free bird. They want to see you leave the nest and do something amazing with your life. 
tell this new story and let that be your truth because you're already deciding what your truth is. It's just one that you're not really fond of. Okay, so I want you to comment down below. Circumstances don't matter. Very simple one today. Circumstances don't matter because they don't. Not a single one. So don't let them define you. Don't let them continue to manifest by adhering to them and impressing them and reacting to them and uh, 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 this again. Oh no, this, oh, it's always like this. No, 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 no. I'm changing the narrative. I'm changing the story. My thoughts are always on the front lines. The thoughts are always out in front. So I'm going to keep my thoughts there until the rest of the world shows up, okay? If you would like help getting into the headspace where you can start wrapping your mind around how to think these thoughts on a regular basis, you can download my 30 Days of Alignment Challenge. It is completely free and it is in the description below. And it's what helped me change my whole life, actually. Uh, you can also join my Facebook group, Black Moon Society. It's a great community for manifesting and support and everybody in there is helping you other and offering great advice. So I would highly suggest you join that as well. And that, of course, the link is in the description below. And of course, if you'd like to sign up for one-on-one -on -one coaching, you can do so at roxytalks.com and we can discuss exactly how to cut your circumstances out and write a new story. The link, of course, is in the description below. There's so many links go down there, just check them all out. Here on the Roxy Talks channel, I go live every Monday for Q&A at noon-ish PST and have new videos out every Tuesday through Friday. So make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the notification bell so you never miss an update. And if you're feeling generous, please like and share. That helps us reach as many people as possible and everyone deserves to know that they are in complete control of their reality. We're all raising our vibrations together. You have the power. I believe in you.